This is called the old fashioned overhand shuffle. One of the biggest obstacles of the card cheater is to get by the cut. In this case, I've held out or copped the four aces. Now the cards can be cut randomly, any position brought to the top, square it up. And as I get ready to deal, I'm ready to deal the four aces off the bottom. My passion for gambling sleight of hand started as a teenager back in Boston. Uh, my dad took me on an errand. We ended up uh, uh, in an underground gambling joint where I met a mechanic who demonstrated some of the moves I'm showing you today. So here's the riffle shuffle that you see in all the casinos in the card rooms. And this is called stripping the deck. So we're gonna cut, strip, and riffle a few times. One more time. And this is what they call carrying a slug. I've controlled those four aces. This is called second dealing or dealing the second card from the deck. Watch the ace of spades on top. To the table, the ace stays on the top. This time I'll leave it face up in the second position. To the table, one last time with the ace face up on top. And that's called second dealing. The assumption is that the dealer just shuffled the cards and presented the deck to me for the cut. I'm the cutter in this situation. So I'm gonna take the cards, give them a cut, pass them back to the dealer, and in the process, switch the decks. This is called a cooler. I've been studying gambling sleight of hand for over 40 years. So I believe anybody can do sophisticated sleight of hand if they're determined and dedicated and they're willing to put in the practice time. Not all moves are easy to learn and uh, it could take several months, but others you pick up pretty, pretty quickly. For me, when I was younger, in my 20s, I was practicing 12, 16 hours a day. I always had a deck of cards uh, in my hand. As I get older, of course, I don't practice as much, but I think quite a bit more about uh, sleight of hand, what makes it good, uh, what makes it deceptive. And I enjoy that exercise very much. This is an example of the hand that just ended. I'm focusing on the aces in both hands. I pick these cards up, these cards up, and then I take this group and throw them into the middle and weed the cards like this. But that's the first part of the false shuffle, as you can see. I brought the aces together, ready to be stacked.